friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. It is holiday baking time. Woo! I'm so incredibly excited. I am going to have holiday baking WW friendly coming your way the entire month of December. Once a week, you will get a fall baking series video. We're going to use all the flavors of the holidays and we are going to make the most decadent desserts that are WW friendly. So if you have a holiday gathering or party that you need to attend, you will have something that you can bring along with you that no one will ever know is WW friendly and it'll help you stay on track. I can't wait for the 2019 holiday baking series. So let's jump right in to the first video of 2019. For the first video in the 2019 holiday baking series, I am going to be making a pumpkin cranberry bread. This recipe comes from my good friend Amanda Lewis over at RIP Fat Girl on Instagram and Amanda Lewis on YouTube. This is her recipe that she created. She said it was delicious. So I decided to put just a little bit of a spin on it and make it for my first video in 2019 holiday baking series. I can't wait to give you all the good recipes throughout this holiday season. So let me show you what is in our pumpkin cranberry bread. First, you're going to need some flour, sweetener alternative of your choice. I'm gonna be doing monk fruit sweetener, organic canned pumpkin or canned pumpkin, baking powder. I'm going to be adding a little bit of my Dax pumpkin pie seasoning to the recipe. This is a little spin on what she did. She did not use this, but this has such great flavor. And I think it's really going to bring out the pumpkin and the cranberry and give it that nice spice. So again, this is the Dax pumpkin spice. I love Dax seasonings. They have zero salt, no MSG. So they are fabulous before weigh-in or if you watch your salt intake because the flavor is so good and so delicious. They are all natural. Like literally all that is in this seasoning is cinnamon, spices, and honey. That's it. Very, very short ingredient list and it tastes amazing. The best pumpkin spice I've ever had. Dax has over 20 seasonings. So head on over and check out their website. Pick up yourself some Dax. You will not be sorry because I'm telling you, best seasoning on the market and no salt makes it even better. So I'm going to add some of that. And then I'm also going to be adding in some ground cinnamon almond extract, of course, cranberries, and an egg. So let's get started on our pumpkin cranberry bread. So let's get started on this bread. So first we're gonna mix our dry ingredients. I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I also have five tablespoons of monk fruit sweetener. That's the sweetener alternative that I'm going to be using. We are also going to add in five tablespoons of baking powder. So quite a lot of baking powder. So let me get those five tablespoons in. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add in our pumpkin spice. I'm not going to measure. I just wanna add this as that extra kick of spice and deliciousness. And then I'm also going to add in cinnamon like the original recipe, just to kind of enhance that flavor a little bit more. And then lastly, we're gonna add in some almond extract. And she had two teaspoons of almond extract. And then I'm going to, oh, that's all my almond extract. I'm going to give that a good stir, and then we are gonna go ahead and mix in our cranberries, our pumpkin, and our eggs. So everything's nice and combined. We're gonna go ahead and add in one half of a cup of pumpkin. I love the Trader Joe's organic pumpkin. If you guys have a Trader Joe's near you, it is the best canned pumpkin in my opinion, and it's less expensive than a lot of the store brands at your regular grocery store. So I have one half of a cup of that. I also have two eggs, so I'm gonna add those. I am gonna get this all mixed together before I add in my cranberries. I do just wanna fold those in, so I don't want to over mix my bread and I don't want to over mix in those cranberries. As you start mixing, you'll see that you do need to add a little bit of water to kind of help thin out your batter. So you're just going to add enough water to make it a thinner batter for a bread. So that is part of her recipe as well. You just want to make sure that you have, you know, a bread consistency of your batter and that it's not just really, really thick because we are going to put this into our bread loaf. So there we go. That looks pretty darn good. And now we're going to go ahead and fold in our cranberries. So about a half of a cup. Ooh, that one doesn't look very good. There we go. About a half of a cup 
of fresh cranberries. And then we're ready to get this into our bread loaf. So let me pull out my loaf. We'll spray it with some nonstick cooking spray and let's get this bread ready to go into the oven. So now we're ready to get our mix into our loaf pan. So I went ahead and sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray, grabbed out a spatula, and we're just going to put our bread mix right into our loaf pan. I have my oven at 375 degrees, and we are going to let this cook until we can insert a toothpick and it comes out clean. The cranberry bread is out of the oven. My house smells all things Christmas. So I'm gonna let this cool for just a little bit and then I'll pop it out of the pan. We're gonna cut it into 10 servings and then I'll be back to show you what that looks like and give you the smart points. So I cut our loaf into 10 equal servings. You can see the size of these slices and look at how delicious that looks. So let me get one slice plated up and I'll be back to show you the smart points. So here's one slice of the pumpkin cranberry bread. Look at how huge that slice is and how delicious that looks. It is so moist, you guys, like so moist. I cannot believe how great this turned out. Way to go, Amanda, on this recipe. And then there's the additional nine slices. So one slice of the cranberry pumpkin bread is only three smart points. And that is no matter what plan you're on, it is three smart points per slice. This huge piece for three smart points. Thank you for joining me on the 2019 kickoff video of the holiday baking series. This bread recipe was delicious. Warm it up with a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter spray or spread, and it is to die for. And three smart points for that big slice yes please you could even make these into mini loaves there are so many variations that you could put on this bread you could add nuts you could make a glaze oh it's endless the possibilities with this bread so i hope you enjoyed the first video in the holiday baking series stay tuned every week for a new recipe coming your way i hope you enjoy the holidays as much as i do and this just helps you make it a little bit more ww friendly and helps you stay on plan just a little bit more if you're new to my channel welcome make sure you subscribe hit the bell that way you're notified when i upload thumbs up this video if you love holiday baking and of course comment down below and let me know how excited are you for this new series and leave the candy cane emoji so i know that you stay till the very end thank you guys so much Happy holidays, and I'll see you next week.